Welcome back to TCM and 31 Days of Oscar. I'm Alicia Malone. Tonight we've been watching Oscar-winning and nominated prison films, and now we have a 1973 thriller that gave composer Jerry Goldsmith his sixth Oscar nomination. Starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman, it's Papillon, directed by Franklin Schaffner. Papillon means butterfly in French, and that is the nickname given to Steve McQueen's character because of the butterfly tattoo he has on his chest. The story is based on a book by Henri Charrier, which detailed his true experience as a prisoner who escaped the notorious Devil's Island prison in French Guiana. And Dustin Hoffman is a fellow prisoner, a forger who helps Papillon with his escape. In reality, that forger was only a minor figure in Charrier's life, but his role was expanded here once Hoffman came on board. The producers had decided that this film needed not one, but two movie stars to ensure audiences would actually see it, especially given how expensive the book rights were to buy and the scale of budget that was required to tell this story on the screen. The script was adapted by Lorenzo Semple Jr., but Dalton Trumbo was also brought on to figure out how to make it into a two-star movie. Trumbo wrote about 60 pages before filming began, then traveled with the crew to keep writing while they were shooting, and he also served as inspiration to Dustin Hoffman, who based his character on him. He's a real feisty man, Hoffman said about Trumbo, and he's got a combination of toughness and sophistication and integrity that I felt was right. Unfortunately, during production, Trumbo wasn't feeling well and had to return home. It was discovered that he had lung cancer, and reportedly it was his son, Christopher Trumbo, who finished the film uncredited. Let's take a look from 1973. This is Papillon. <laughs> The filming of Papillon did not go too smoothly, with a script that was being rewritten as they shot, having to deal with hundreds of extras, and shooting on location in jungles and through oppressive weather conditions. The producers were only just able to keep up with their payments, rushing back and forth from the set to their financial backers, showing them rushes and asking for more money. There was a period of three weeks where they couldn't afford to pay the crew who were still working, and when Steve McQueen found out about this, he put his foot down, saying, unless everyone gets paid, I don't work. The fact that Papillon was shot in sequence was helpful for McQueen, who was able to slowly build on his character. Neither he nor Dustin Hoffman were nominated for Oscars for their performances, but composer Jerry Goldsmith was for his music score. This was Goldsmith's sixth Oscar nomination out of an eventual 18 he would earn between 1962 and 1998. He won one Oscar for his score for The Omen from 1976, and his other nominations included his memorable scores for films like Planet of the Apes, Patton, Chinatown, Poltergeist, and Basic Instinct. All right, that's it for me tonight, but our 31 Days of Oscar look at prison films will return with a 1962 drama that was nominated for four Oscars, starring Burt Lancaster and directed by John Frankenheimer.